Yeah, headed into uh, really the last stretch of our season. Um, you know, our, our October was was fast and furious. We were able to have a few days off, you know, after the New Mexico State game and, and uh, excited about our football team's progress that we've made. Um, they've had this time to really rest up mentally and physically. We had a good workout Monday morning. We had a good practice this morning. And so I'm um, looking forward to the challenge of going on the road, playing one of the only eight teams in the country that are still undefeated in Liberty. They're eight no, um, number one team in the country um, in a lot of categories in our conference. Um, one of the top scoring offenses in, in our, the top scoring offense in our conference um, and the league, one of the top rushing teams in the country. Um, in our def and defensively, they lead the Conference USA in, in really um, total defense and rushing defense. Um, they're really good against the pass. Um, and so it's an exciting challenge for our football team to go against one of the teams that are still, you know, 8-0. Um, great opportunity for us from that standpoint. Um, was really, uh, really proud of how our team handled the time off um, and coming back ready to, to practice. Um, looking forward to this week. Um, it was great, you know, this week on campus. There's a lot of exciting things happening at Louisiana Tech just from the standpoint of our women's, women's soccer soccer team is hosting the Conference USA soccer tournament. Um, Coach Volts and his ladies will be playing tomorrow night at 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock. Um, so I think it's a big week for them. It's a big week for our, for our school. Um, you know, obviously hearing from Coach Storr here, um, the basketball programs are kicking off. Um, and so um, an exciting time. Um, it's Halloween today, so I know if you have kids, um, which we do have a lot of kids on the staff, um, we'll have a haunted hallway about 5 o'clock today, and so a lot of our players will come up and, and uh, we'll, we'll be giving out candy to the coaches' kids. And uh, so it'll be a fun day today. We already had our practice in, working on uh, open field and third downs against Liberty. Um, we're as healthy as we've been. So um, in terms of injuries, um, our guys are, are uh, as healthy as we've been throughout the course of the season. Our running back room still a little bit to be determined on, on, on that position as far as who shows up and the availability and, and, and will Tyree play or not. Um, you, know, I, you know, it's still as the week goes, I guess, with his progression from that standpoint. Jarvis, I think, is as healthy as he's been. Moody's um, giving us everything he's got. And you still have Jacob Builds and Dakota Williams. So um, from that standpoint, those guys are healthy. Um, Hank had a good week of practice um, yesterday. He practiced well, um, threw the ball around really well this morning. So excited about, um, you know, really the development he had in our offense against New Mexico State and, and looking forward to seeing how he's going to do against Liberty. Um, and, and so um, it, it's, a, uh, it's an exciting finish to this season for our football program. You know, I think we just want to play our best. You know, I think that's what we've talked about a lot this week is, is just being at our best. And, and we have not done that as a football team on all four sides in terms of offense, defense, special teams on our sideline. We haven't been our best for four quarters of football. And I think that's the challenge, that we're chasing our best football. Um, we have had progression as a football team. We've had progression on defense, offense, and special teams. But I think rising up on all four sides of the football at one time. And so that's what we're chasing, is we're chasing our best. Yeah, I saw that stat today where over the last two weeks in terms of all the rushing yards that they've had and um, their running back, Quentin Cooley, is a big part of it. Caden Salter at quarterback um, does a nice job of extending plays, um, does a nice job in their quarterback run game. Um, and so it'll be a big challenge for us. I think that's the number one thing defensively is being able to contain the run game. Uh, and they are able to create explosive plays through the passing game with their play action. And, and they're throwing the football down the field. You know, Coach Chadwell is one of the best coaches in the, in the country. Um, did a phenomenal job at Coastal Carolina and has really transitioned quickly to Liberty um, with the talent that they have there. And so um, they do a very nice job you know, attacking you in different ways in the run game. Yeah, I think that, you know, for us, winning football games at home, winning football games on the road, I think um, the routine, we want to try to keep the routine the same as possible. And I think this is going to be a great environment for our team to play in. Um, they do it from watching the film and looking at TV copies. It seems like they have a great student section. They'll have a great turnout. And so, you know, hopefully our guys will be able to provide their own energy. Um, but playing on the road is, is obviously something that we've had to tackle here. There's a lot of things that you tackle um, when you take over a new program. 
Um, and, and that's one of the things we've had to tackle, and we've accomplished it. But we're not just going to sit and like, all right, we won one game for the first time on the road since 2020. We want to try to continue to add to that. And, 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 and how do we do that is being our best. We talked about it. You know, it's executing. I think one of the things they've done a great job at Liberty is, is, is they've turned offenses over. They lead the country in interceptions, and they turn offenses over really in opportune situations from their standpoint in terms of the timing, the situation and where it's at on the field. So um, at home or away, you know, we've got to do a great job of protecting the football. Touchdowns in the red zone I think will be important for us on offense. And, and uh, you know, I think that our guys had a good frame of mind this morning in terms of how we attacked practice. And I'm looking forward to seeing their, them tonight, you know, and as we get through our meetings and just um, having an opportunity to go out on the road and, and to prove that we can be at our best for four quarters. I think you just try to have an awareness as you go through the, the course of practice, um, and 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 you know, for so many times, you know, we talked about you know starting practice or starting fast, and 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 then you know you get out and you start, you play a first half really as well as you've played all season long, um, probably on all three sides of the ball against New Mexico State, and we weren't able to sustain it. And so, you know, when you have lapses, you know, some of it is the other team does things, and some of the other teams that we're playing against are good football teams too. You just try to have an awareness throughout the course of practice. Uh, from the standpoint of, of being intentional um, and, and, and having a, a right focus and intensity for the entire course of practice. And because you do everything for practice to give yourself the best opportunity in the game to do these things. And so I think you have to practice those things and practice those situations where maybe we've struggled. And, and we're trying to attack that in practice every day. And, and uh, we're doing things you know, to, to try to address those throughout the course of practice. Yeah, it is. It's important. Um, that's one of our goals um, that we have is, is to make it to a bowl game, to make it to a postseason. Um, we have numerous seniors on our football team that um, have been a part of, whether they, they came from another program or the guys that have been here, have been a part of a lot of success. And, and we want to try to continue to climb our way back up to um, you know, where we're, we're, we're in bowl contention every season at this time of year. And we're playing meaningful football games, which this is a meaningful football game for us. And so um, I, I, I sense this you know, from our team a sense of urgency, but also just a sense of excitement uh, for the opportunity and the challenge of playing Liberty and, and having the, the type of opponent that we have on the road. Yeah, I think, you know, as, as you saw at 11 o'clock this morning, you know, Willie Roberts, um, a semifinalist for the Jim Thorpe Award, you know, and the last player at Louisiana Tech that's had that is Amika Robertson. And, and we know that he's still playing and still having a ton of success in the NFL. And so um, I think for Willie, um, his journey um, here from Stephen F. Um, and, and just his progression as a player, um, you know, the way we play defense, if, if you've paid attention to it closely, our corners are challenged every week. Our corners are challenged every play. And, and whether you play 70 plays, you play 80 plays, you play 50, I would be willing to bet probably 90% of that is in man coverage. And, and you're going to get tested. And, and, and you see, I think really nothing sums it up better than the first play of the game of the first play of the season where FIU throws the vertical ball trying to test Willie. And, and uh, that's really been the way he's been. I mean, he's had, he's had an incredible season. I think he's, his ability to play over whomever we play their best is, is what we've done with Willie. And it allows us more flexibility with linebacker, with safeties and the other corners and the other nickels in terms of the schemes that we play. And so um, he's handled his business. Um, he's set to grab graduate this quarter, um, so which is another exciting thing is he's going to graduate this quarter. He's a semifinalist for the Jim Thorpe Award, um, and he plays against the best people we line up against, which they're really good players, and they're fast receivers. Um, and, and so for, from my standpoint, our standpoint, Coach Power, um, just his development since he's been here, I think he's improved as a tackler. I challenge him on it regularly, on improving yourself as a tackler, as a corner. And sometimes those may not win those types of awards or put you in the, in the mix for it, but it sure doesn't hurt. And I think he's improved his game since he's been here. And that's the goal, as you want to see with, with all of our players, is development. And when they get here, they're at a certain level. And then when they leave here, we want to press them to be uh, maybe at an even higher level than what they see for themselves um, on and off the field. So he's graduating this winter. 
which is going to be awesome. Excuse me, the end of this fall quarter. Um, he's a semifinalist for the Jim Thorpe Award, um, which is the last player to do that at Louisiana Tech is playing in the NFL. And I think Willie has great character. Willie shows up every day and he works. Um, and I think he's provided a great amount of leadership in his own way. He's a very quiet player. He's a very quiet person. Um, but he's shown an incredible amount of leadership for our football team and for the corner room. And so I think it's a very deserving honor. And, and so we've got the three games that we have left and, and the fourth one that we'll earn. You know, he's going to go against the best that we play. And he answers the bail every single time. Any questions from Zoom? What's that? You know, one of them, uh, I couldn't talk him out of it, but my oldest, Gray, he, uh, he's going to be Texas Tech number 15. So he, he, went, he went and ordered him a, a, a Cumbie 15 jersey. They found it somewhere on the internet for about, I think, a nickel. I think somebody sold it to him for about 25 cents. Um, but he, he's going to be, uh, he's going to dress up as, as me when I played at quarterback at Texas Tech. And Hayes, our seven-year-old, he's bounced back and forth between Harry Potter, uh, a stormtrooper, and then there's really no telling what he'll show up in tonight. But um, all of our coaches' kids, um, they're really excited for tonight. And, and uh, you know, the players that will come up and hand out candy to them. And so it'll be a fun night for our players and hopefully for our kids as well. Thank you, Coach. Yep. Thank you all. Yep, thanks.